Hi, I am Linda Bernhardt, the professor for this course. You will get used to seeing me and hearing my goofy voice doing these types of videos. Decided to go ahead and start off with going over the syllabus because if this were an in-person class, this is what we would be doing day one. So it makes sense to have this be the first video here. So you will have an introduction about me and the syllabus video. I decided to have them separate. Um, I don't know, just because this was easier. You also may randomly hear strange noises while I'm doing this, but it's because I am on the outside part of my house, as you can tell by the sunlight and the stuff behind me. And there are neighbors over there with little kids, and I just heard one of the kids do one of those squeal screech things that little kids do. And that, so if you're hearing weird extra noises, that's the reason. Anyway, <clears throat> here we go. This is for the fall semester of environmental science 1121. I have already told you my name right here, Linda Bernhardt. This is the email address where you can reach me. You can always send me a message through Georgia View, Brightspace, whatever they want to call it now. It's been through many, many different names. I think the current one is Brightspace. However, if you really need to reach me, I would use this email address because this email goes to my phone and it will pop up an alert and then I will know there's a message for me. The online part for the classes, I go on there on a regular basis, but not as often as I check my email. So if you need me for something important and you want me to respond within a day or two, definitely, definitely, definitely email me at that email address. Now, that being said, I don't live on the phone and I do have other jobs and I do sleep sometimes and I play games and different things like that. So if you send me an email, give me time to respond. Please do not send me like 12 emails in a row in five minutes. Actually give me time to respond. I'm actually pretty quick about responding. So give me a little bit of time. <clears throat> Okay, required text and supplies. Yeah, there's definitely a textbook you need. This should be the textbook right here on the uh, syllabus. Should be the 15th edition. They may or may not have updated it. This is the current one that I'm working with. As long as it is the environmental science, a study of interrelationships. Um, if it's close to this one, we'll be able to make it work. I also supply a lot of stuff throughout the uh, semester online so you'll be okay but this is the textbook you need this is what the tests are going to come out of for the most part so there you go now we have our course description this is what we're supposed to go through all of our learning outcomes our objectives so feel free to go over these all on your own now online component georgia view it's georgia view can also be D2L, can also be Brightspace. Any of those three names are all exactly the same thing. That's this online part that you logged into in order to access this syllabus. So I know you know how to get to it. Now, here's the big one. All this stuff right here in bold. Here, let's see, can I make the cursor go big? Nah, it doesn't want to do it this time. It does it other time, but not when I want it to. Anyway. When you are turning in a paper and it's an attachment, you have to attach it. It has to be a Word document. So it has to be a .doc or .docx file. Do not, I repeat, do not give me a screenshot of your phone or a tablet. Do not attach a PDF, an RTF, um, a GDOC, none of those things, only a Word document. So if it ends in anything other than .doc or .docx, do not use that. You will get a zero. This is the fair warning. I have made it as clear as I can. And it's not just trying to be difficult. It has to do with how the system works, what I can open on my computer, and then there's also a grading app. So if I am traveling or trying to get other things done and I'm grading it without a computer, this is what the app actually opens. 
So again, if you have to attach something, it needs to be a Word document, nothing else. No JPEGs, no PDFs, no screenshots, nothing else, just Word document. All right. <clears throat> Yes, I go on and on about that because I will get plenty of other things turned in throughout the semester and everyone will swear they didn't know. So trying to make sure it's crystal clear. All right, so grades. I keep these as up to date as I possibly can. You will find unless something crazy happens, I will be one of the fastest graders that you have ever had as an instructor. Now, you need to do your job. You turn it in, I grade it you look. I want you to actually read the feedback. If you get a grade that is not as high as you anticipated, first you need to do is go to the assignment and look for my feedback. Most of the time you will find feedback that tells you exactly why you lost some points. If you email me and just say, what did I do wrong? My first question will be, did you read the feedback? So, if you get a grade that you do not agree with or you're shocked that it's not what you thought you would get, first go look at the feedback. For the discussions, you will have a grading rubric. The grading rubric should be visible to you and you should be able to see exactly what I clicked. Um, <clears throat> anything under the assignments tab, I will type feedback for anything that is really good or not so great. If you even lost so much as a point, I will tell you why you lost it. So go and look. If you go and you look and you do not agree with my feedback, email me politely, respectfully say that you don't agree or ask for more clarification. Say this was my understanding, something like that. I will talk to you about it. But here's the biggest thing. You have only seven days from the moment the grade has posted to argue any grade. If you wait two weeks and then you go back and look, I'm gonna tell you, you're too late. You should have done it within seven days. So, wanna make sure that's clear because grades are very important. Now, contacting your instructor. There's a lot on the syllabus, seriously, that is here because we have to use well, it's called a master syllabus. We are told this is the syllabus you use and then we adjust things. This is part of those that just is on here. I've already told you, send me a message through Georgia View or email me at my email address. Here's the email address again. <coughs> if you're using your personal email address instead of your SGSC email, it may or may not go to my junk folder. So if you have emailed me, you have given me ample time to reply and you don't hear from me, send me another message. Make sure I got your message. So smartest to actually use your SGSE email. If you, I don't know, have an email address like juicyfruit6969 at yahoo.com, Chances are that's going to go to the spam folder. It's never even going to occur to me to look. If it looks like spam, I'm not opening it anyway. So using your SGSC email will help me. Also putting in the subject line what class you're in, that can help me find you. So just different things like that. <clears throat> Sorry about this, but you know, I have asthma, so I cough and clear crap like that all the time. Access statement. This is talking about if you have any kind of disability and you require any kind of accommodations. You should have contacted the student support services, the administration, or not the administration, Office of Disability Services, stuff like that. <clears throat> they will send me, actually I believe they will send you, you have to talk to me about it. We have all this paperwork that goes back and forth and then we make the adjustments. Considering this is an online course, pretty much the only thing you may or may not end up asking for will be extended time on a test. Most of the assignments here are open for, uh, let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, six days. So extended time, time is not a big deal. 
tests are timed, quizzes are timed, and so that would be the only thing I could imagine you would need an issue, you would have an issue with, but have to go through the proper channels. So I would need the paperwork, all that kind of thing. But right here is who you would contact, then we go through me. Counseling services, all the campuses are represented here. So just find whichever one you're the closest and this will help you out with your counseling services. Attendance policy, SGSC has their own attendance policy. I am just going to keep on scrolling till you see where it says my attendance policy. You may have noticed it's an online course. You may also have noticed I do not have any days where I say you have to be logged in. So pretty much just do your work. Every assignment has very specific details about the work. This is how I do your attendance. So you don't have an official attendance. You just have to actually do your work. That's pretty much it. Okay, grading policy. Here's the important one. I use something called the point system and most students absolutely hate it at the beginning because they don't understand it. But then at the very end, they absolutely love it because it helps. What this is, is the point system. You get points for absolutely everything. <clears throat> I never, ever, 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 ever take away your points. Once you have earned your points, they are yours for good. So if you are sitting there and keeping track of your points, collecting your points, instead of saying, oh, I got a B, oh, I got an A, oh, this is 73%, just look at the actual points. Once you have gotten 900 points, you have an A. This means if you have busted butt and done everything, gone above and beyond, it is possible to have 900 points before the end of the semester. Once you have those 900 points, you have already earned your A. If you don't wanna do anything after that, that's fine, because you have already done enough to earn an A. However, if you get 899.7, that is a B, because you have not hit 900 points. I do not round grades at all, period, exclamation point, no rounding. So if you say, hey, that's close enough and you stop doing work, that's on you. So keeping track of your points, very, very, very important. Policy on late and makeup work, I don't take it. You have typically a minimum of six days for every single assignment the entire semester. Some assignments, you have two solid weeks to do it. That means there's no reason to ever be late. I understand having a bad day. I understand if internet goes out for a day or two. I understand just not wanting to deal with it. I understand having a whole lot of work to do. However, if you have at least six days to do an assignment, it's not my fault if you pushed it off to the last minute and then had an issue. So if you are smart and you value your grade, you will do the work pretty much when it opens and then you don't have to worry about it later on in the week. So if anything goes wrong, doesn't matter. You're already done. But do not contact me and say, oh, Ms. Bernhardt, when can I turn this in? Or can you please reopen this assignment? I will not reopen it. I will tell you I am so sorry, but next time start earlier. This is one of those things I am very, very, very serious about. Now, this has had to be added to the syllabus because of previous semesters. Please note, all assignments must be turned in in the proper location. So say this is something called Journal Topic 2, and it's in the Assignments tab. It has to be turned in, in the Assignments tab, under the thing labeled Journal Topic 2. If you turn it in anywhere other than where it is designated to be turned in, you will get a zero. So do not email it to me. Do not stick it somewhere else and say, oh, this is for that assignment. It will not count. You have to turn it in in the proper location. I'm getting distracted because both cats are down here playing with toys now and I'm waiting for them to either be happy playing or get into a fight. So if you hear a bunch of cat noise, then I guess the fight will have been what worked. Okay, <clears throat> plagiarism. 
please don't do it. I actually have something on my computer that I will randomly run people's writings through to make sure it's actually your writing. Throughout the semester, I will start to get a good feel on how you talk, your type of writing style, and if suddenly it's different, oh yeah, you, you can guarantee I'm going to check that. Um, some weeks I run more than others. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I know this type of assignment gets a lot of copy and paste. I will run every single one through it. Other weeks I might go, eh, this is also very personal. It should be good. I am not going to warn you each and every time I decide to run something through a plagiarism checker. Just know the entire semester, anything you turn into me should be your own work, not copy and pasted, nobody else's, just yours. If I flag you for plagiarism, the first time I will let you know that it was plagiarized, I will give you a zero for that assignment and tell you, hey, I saw this, you need to be more careful. If it happens a second time, I then will file the paperwork and report you to the college for plagiarism. So please do not plagiarize. <coughs> hmm. Sorry again. Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act of 1974. This is just telling you I can't talk to anybody else about your grades, nobody. I can't talk to your mom, your dad, your best friend, your dog, anybody, just you. And I can't even talk to you about it on the phone or through email. I can only discuss it through this, through Georgia View. Um, also, if we were able to meet in person, we could do it in person. I am going to find out and make sure it's okay, but I'm pretty sure I would be able to on a Zoom call. And I do have Zoom. There is stuff posted in the class about that because that's how I do my face-to-face, -face, well, face-to-face, office time with you. Okay, academic success. It's for tutoring and stuff. Feel free, hit them up if you want to. Um, otherwise, just talk to me. There should not be any real reason to require tutoring for this course. If you need help with this course, just ask me and I will tell you exactly what you could be doing to make it better. Now, if you say, hey, Ms. Bernhard, I'm not doing great. I would really like to get a better grade. What can I do? And I tell you, you have to actually do your work. That's really the only answer. Um, it's not me trying to be a jerk. It's just literally the answer. Some people want someone to just give them an easier way. There isn't an easier way. Just do what you're told. That's it. Okay, academic support. There you go. That's the stuff about tutoring and whatnot that I was just talking about. Writing and Speaking Center syllabus statement. This is here to talk about if you need to go to the Writing Center to get help with your writing. You're not going to need Speaking Center because I don't see any way to make you do videos for this course. And I've tried because I thought having like intro videos would be fun so people could get to know each other. But yeah, I haven't been able to get that to happen yet. Um, <clears throat> satisfactory academic progress standards for financial aid. This means you need to keep your grades up a little bit. If you get too low, it will affect your financial aid. So don't do that. Okay, note. This is so nobody can tell me they did not know. All assignments will close Friday night at 10 p.m. Not 11.59, not midnight, at 10 p.m. This is for all assignments. Every other week, Georgia View goes down for maintenance on Friday at 10 p.m. So that's when I just go ahead and have all assignments due by 10 p.m. So you will never be in the midst of working on something and have the system go down. You will never be able to tell me, but Miss Bernhardt, I was turning it in and then it wasn't working because it's already locked by the time the system goes down for maintenance. So this part on the syllabus is there just so nobody can say, oh, but I didn't realize that. I thought, no, everything is due on Friday nights at 10 p.m. There you go. Now, here's the points. <clears throat> You will have a journal topic every week, or not every week, <laughs> sorry. You will have a journal topic, it's actually every other week. You will have a discussion every other week. So like this first week, 
the introduction discussion. That's your first discussion. That will be open for two weeks. Next week, journal topic one will open. You will have two weeks to turn it in. So they alternate. So you will have, I guess it should work out where it's pretty much the odd weeks you have a discussion, the evens you should have a journal topic that opens. You do have a quiz every single week through the whole semester, every single week. So please do not later say, I didn't realize there was a quiz this week. There is a quiz every single week. <clears throat> now, you will also have a group presentation. Um, there will be another video talking about the group presentation and what you're going to be doing. I assign the groups based on what you say you want. So there will be an assignment that you turn in saying, hey, this is the topic I want. And then I take those and say, here's your group. You will have a group task summary, which is worth 50 points. The presentation itself, the whole project is worth 200 points. That is the equivalent of two letter grades. So even if you are perfect through the rest of the semester, if you do not do this, it's not possible to get better than a B. So you have to do the group presentation properly. I have an entire thing all about the group presentation. Make sure to watch that video. Read everything carefully because you are graded on more than just what you turn in. It's an entire semester long grade, not even kidding. So, <clears throat> really wish my voice would quit going out on me. You have two official exams and a final. So each test is 100 points. So you have exam one and then exam two and then the final exam. All of these together will equal 1,000 points. Now, I do have some extra credit ones built in. So throughout the semester, you're going to see some optional assignments. If you're smart, you'll do them because every point helps. And if you do everything, chances are you'll have 900 points before you get to the last week. And it makes the last week super duper easy. Because imagine if you have enough points to already have an A in one class when you're having to study for finals for your other classes. That's pretty much the reason I do it. I try to make it easier. Okay, here are your topics, your agenda. <clears throat> could move around if needed, but it is a very, very rare thing for me to move a class, anything around. Labs, sometimes I've had to adjust them for the actual class. It is very rare indeed for anything to change. So you will see the week number all the way down the side and the date. <clears throat> Every one of the first dates, <coughs> sorry, is a Sunday. The following is a Saturday. But I want you to notice everything opens on Sunday. It's actually Saturday night, Sunday morning at midnight. Everything closes Friday night at 10. That means nothing is needed of you on Saturday. I am giving every single person Saturday off. I think it's important to have a little bit of time off built in. So there you go. Here are the topics. So this tells you pretty quick the chapters we're covering for each week. Couple of things I want you to take note of is week eight. Week eight is midterm. This is the last chance, I believe it's the Thursday there, for you to withdraw from the course with a uh, withdraw passing, I guess is what it would be. I don't know, it's just with a W so it doesn't affect your financial aid really. It doesn't really affect your GPA. Um, if you have not done crap basically the entire semester up to midterm and you know you're still not going to do anything it would be wise of you to withdraw as soon as you have done the proof of attendance quiz i count you as part of my class and even if you turn nothing in i will leave you in the class so if you do not want to actually completely destroy your GPA and your financial aid capabilities here. If you have decided to just not bother doing anything, that's the date you have in order to drop the course. I will not just knock you out. So you have to do it. 
Now, if you were just having a hard time getting started, your grade is not as high as you wanted it to be by midterm, but you are doing the work, talk to me before you decide to drop it and we will discuss what it is, you know, what's possible to get for the rest of the semester. And we'll see if it's possible for you to get your goal. And if it's your goal and you're willing to do the work, then probably stay in, but I leave it up to you. The next thing I want you to notice is week nine. Notice there's no chapters listed there. It says work on group task summary. This means <clears throat> this is a week straight up dedicated to working with your groups. So if the rest of the semester has been crazy, this is the week for you to schedule time with your people. And this does not mean meet in person. You can do it on Zoom, you can do it on Skype, you can do it on Google Hangouts, you can do it however you want to, but you need to actually communicate with your group on this week. Then scooch on down, you will notice that week 14 is when you're finishing the textbook and that's when your projects are due. The next week, 15 is Thanksgiving. You have like a quiz, that's it. Because if you remember, I said there's a quiz every week. <clears throat> you don't have much to do on Thanksgiving because I want you to enjoy your family. Week 16 is a recap and then week 17, that's when you're done. You will have survived the entire thing. Now, there will be another video <clears throat> actually two. One will be more of an introduction type video to me and the way the course is run and another one all about the groups. This one is mostly the syllabus but I want to throw something out there right here to make sure you know and you don't forget. Every single week I have it set up where you have to go to that week's uh, folder. So like week two folder. Then there, the first thing there will be a week two file. Click on that file. Until you have gone to that folder and that file, you will not have access to anything for that week. Do not try to shortcut because until you open that file, nothing will appear and you will get a lot of zeros thinking it's the easiest class you've ever taken because there's no assignments when in reality you're missing everything. Make sure to actually open the proper file. Now, Here's the last little tidbit. I always throw this out there and then I ask people to email me, message me, do something, let me know you actually heard this because why not? Um, sometimes I actually put it in the quiz and I might put it in the quiz this time. I can see everything you do on this computer through this system. If you tell me that you looked at something and that stuff just wasn't working, the first thing I'm going to do is look at how often you logged in and what you opened. If you keep insisting that you tried and nothing opened for you, and when I ask you, did you open that file, and you tell me yes, I will take a screenshot to show you where it tells me you never opened it. Um, not understanding how something works, that I get. I will educate you, I will help you, I will do everything I can to make sure you understand. However, if you lie to me, I do not like that. I despise liars. Own up. If you messed up, just tell me you messed up. I'll say, okay, there you go, lesson learned. Don't do that again. This is why it happened and we'll be good. If you lie to me about it and then you keep insisting and you keep insisting and I already have evidence that you didn't do what you told me you did, trust me in the fact that I will remember who you are but not for a good reason. So please do not lie to me. I do not like it. I am rather tech savvy. I can look at the stuff. I have people who also like to turn things in, insist that they attached the file, but then what they actually gave me is an empty document. Don't do that either. I will tell you exactly how much was used on that document. So please do not do this kind of crap. People have done this throughout the semesters. I already know all the tricks. I already know how to find them and I know all the evidence. So just show me a little bit of respect and I will show it right on back. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the syllabus presentation for lack of a better phrase and I'm distracted by my kitties down here. They're really cute and it's getting kind of warm out here and I'm tired of talking. So that should give you a clue about this type of class and mm, yeah that's it for the syllabus presentation. So bye.